Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be introducing a new feature to the channel, and it's going to be called a ride review. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one of the rides that I've done in the course of the week, and I'll do a review of what that ride was like. Now, to make it interesting, I'll either do a different group ride or worst case scenario, I'll do the same ride maybe a couple weeks in a row, but I'll try to do something interesting, like do it on a different bike so that we can at least have an opportunity to talk about what the different bikes feel like in similar environment. And I'll also endeavor to maybe do a different pace. Sometimes I can do the A group, sometimes I can do the B group. And yes, I am one of those guys that's more than happy to occasionally ride with the C group. <laughs> sometimes sometimes cyclists act like, you know, you wrote, you were, you wrote the C group? But Man, there's nothing more pleasurable at times than riding with the C group because, you know, you can get some easy miles in. But also the C group is where you're going to find a lot of new cyclists who need exampleship. You don't need to necessarily be out there to coach people, but newer cyclists, especially with the amount of new cyclists that we get on group rides, they need exampleship of experienced riders mixed in there with them so that they see how you handle your bike, how you behave. And, you know, the new rider of today in the C group, that person is going to be joining you in the A group one of these days. And you want to make sure that they're coming up through the ranks the right way. So today, what I'm going to be doing uh, is featuring a small group ride. I define rides differently. You can either ride solo. You can go out on a ride with a few friends. You can do what I would call a small group ride where it's maybe eight to 15. That to me is a small group ride. Or you can do a large group ride. A large group ride to me is where you have like 20 plus. When you start getting over 50 people, that's no longer a large group ride. That's kind of like a parade. And uh, in a subsequent video, I'm going to be talking about those types of rides and how to deal with them properly from a cycling culture point of view and also from a cycling safety point of view. So, all right, let's jump in. So today I'm on the Pinella. The exciting thing about this ride is that we have cyclists of varying abilities. Loxley right there is a Cat 3 racer. Brandon is either Cat 3 or Cat 4. Markel is Cat 4. Lionel, who's in the frame right now, is Cat 3. Mr. Sharpton, who you briefly saw, has been riding bikes with me for a very, very long time. And we had a number of new cyclists who recently purchased a bike, and this is probably their first or second outing doing this type of activity. So a small group ride, I believe we had a total of 16 cyclists on this ride, is ideal for them where they get the benefit of the safety in numbers. They get to ride in a, a controlled pace environment. This ride was paced at 18 to 21 miles an hour. It's no drop. We don't have any surges, any sprints, or anything like that. The entire uh, idea is to ride in a double pace line and keep everybody together. We also had cyclists like Trina, who was in the frame earlier. Trina has been riding with us for about a year and a half, I would say. There's Trina right there. But Trina has been, because of her work commitment and her work schedule, hasn't been on the bike as much as she would like to, but it was good to see her out here today. So in rides like this, there's always things that, you know, you see that you feel like people can learn from and do better, myself included. I, I try to learn every time I'm out on a bike or at least be able to validate some of the things that I do believe or know about cycling and myself just to make sure that I'm doing things the right way. But one of the things that's really important in these types of rides is paying attention. Here we see Tiff, while everybody is kind of, you know, dealing with fatigue, we're trying to do a regroup, you'll notice that Tiff is always on the wheel. She was glued to Markel's wheel like nobody's business because she basically, she didn't miss any moves, which is something that oftentimes new people don't get right. They don't understand the importance of paying attention and staying on the wheel. So we have a situation going on right here where if you look between the cyclists, you'll notice that the people who are pacing the ride are kind of going up the road. And we've got a little bit of a conference going on back here. 
and three of the people who were having the conference are fairly new. The group isn't going to slow down. They're going to keep going about 21 miles an hour. And now these guys start realizing, hey, the group's going up the road. Um, I need to get it together and we need to get uh, keep going because there was no reason why they sat back here other than they were just distracted. They weren't paying attention and they were talking. So watch what's going to happen when the gentleman in blue decides to close the gap. He's fairly new and one of the things that I did notice about him was he was not that adept at using his gears in different situations. So he's pedaling up the road and is, if I had to guess, I'd say he's doing maybe 95 to 100 RPM and I start catching him and going by him but one of the things that I do is I shift up into a couple harder gears and without too much strain or fuss I'm gonna go by him now I don't think that he has a fitness issue I think he's fit I think he just doesn't understand the importance of using your gears the right way to be able to close gaps so that was a perfect example of paying attention the importance of staying on the wheel and the importance of using your gears properly because one of the things that newer cyclists have a tendency to do is if they have a little bit of a gap, they try to close a gap by spinning up, especially on the flats. And, you know, you're really starting to tax your heart rate if you're doing that. At some point, you're closing a gap and it's not coming down fast enough. You can't just keep spinning. You're gonna to have to put the bike into a harder gear or two so that you can get up the road to do what you got to do very important so three very important things to be mindful of on group rides so you hear mr sharpton teased me about coming off the front <laughs> after i've done my turn and i'm gonna slot back in to the pace line. One of the things that's happened is some of the guys who were behind, who were distracted, who had to work to catch back on, those guys have gotten dropped. And it is a no drop ride, but we've got a little section that we're just gonna go up the road right here about a mile or so, and then we're gonna regroup. We actually have sweepers who are back there with the guys just to make sure that they're okay. Now, I want you to pay attention to Tiffany, who's on my left. Watch what she does before we get into this turn. She shifts right there into an easier gear in anticipation of being able to accelerate properly because we slow down a little bit to take the turn. So Tiffany is in the right gear coming out of the turn. That's a very important uh, thing to be aware of and a very valuable skill to learn as a cyclist. So one thing I can say I really appreciate about this ride is that whatever the objectives were of the ride that was spoken of before we took off, Markel made sure that we stuck with that perfectly. The pace was great, uh, the camaraderie was great, it was a very safe ride, and I believe that everybody who was there had a really good time. We were done a little bit after 9 o'clock, which is great because in South Florida, after that, it begins to get unbearably hot. So um, that's it. A great ride, great vibe, great fun with great people. I enjoyed myself tremendously, and it's definitely a ride that um, I'll be doing again in the future so that's it guys this has been our inaugural ride report <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section let me know if you guys would like to see more of these types of videos and uh, what type of rides you guys would like to see or any questions that anybody has about anything that we covered or didn't cover here on this video as always our aim here at the channel is to inform instruct inspire be blessed